I put out a lot of great content as far as trying to get people to gain, trying to show people the right way. Some of it has been on deaf ears, you know what I'm saying? But some of it, some people actually got the point and got the, you know what I'm saying, of what I was trying to convey. So I got my player partner finna get ready to come on this thing, man, Ali Streets. And I guess we're going to discuss a few things, a few topics of what, you know what I'm saying, you know, motivated him in, in my videos and etc. You know, I always say we all should get our flowers, you know what I'm saying, while we're living. Some people leave leave the earth before they're able to really people to respect their greatness. Waiting on Ali Streets to come in this thing, man, so we can I don't know, have a candid conversation and we're gonna chop it up, man. I I'm very curious of what he got to say. Like I said, man, I think this is gonna be very, very um you know, informational, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, you know, think highly of the boy. This is one of my brothers when I first moved to Orlando, man. He picked me up. He was one of the uh, mark, one of the promoters in Orlando. It's not to you to tell you since, since I met you and I, whoever's listening, I met him through his music. A friend of mine came to me and said, hey, you got to hear this music. I had the CD, popped it in the car, we played it. I'm like, oh, shit, as soon as I heard the music, I didn't even finish the whole song. As soon as the song started, I'm like, I got to beat this nigga. And anyway, we'll, we'll try to make a long story short, but MB, MB got here to Florida, and Tyrell introduced me to him, and I heard his music, and I'm a big fan. And... Met up with MB. MB started going downtown, performing on stages, and every time he got on the stage, I could see the crowd reacting. Let's, let's hold up. Let's and, not and skip. Let's. The reason why I was going downtown was because y'all, y'all, the one that that had me that made me feel like I was so lit. That man, I'm gonna go do this shit. Now I ain't never performed in Orlando. It's time now. It's not was you still the shit. Yeah, it's, I'm trying to be humble. I'm trying to be humble. <laughs> yeah, humble brand. <clears throat> but yeah, um, first time I saw MB, he went on stage. We took him downtown, and um, his music was entertaining more than um, a lot of local rappers that I know. So when he got on stage, I could see the people moving, I could see them dancing, and they drinking. They buying drinks from the bar and all that shit. So the, the, the club where he was performing was making money too. So, you know, anywhere and any stage MB went to, people dance. And and his songs is catchy and, and, and good and every song is different. Through all these years, I'll sit here and watch MB videos when he talk about different subjects and stuff, you know, about life, about relationship, about music and all that stuff, acting, whatever. And like I was telling him, I don't normally comment on it or, or, or say anything, but like in secret, I sit up late at night and I watch this nigga shit. And this whole year, I don't lost all my brothers died, family members and shit. And the only thing that kept me up all right, sorry for to sorry encourage for me Sorry for your loss, bro. Sorry for your loss. I just want to say that. Appreciate it. Watching um NB videos at, at the times when I'm my brothers is dying and I'm losing all my family members and stuff. I go for 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 support. I watch NB videos and, and he always talk about life and, and, and you know how to treat people right and, and stuff like that. And it encouraged me. And I didn't say nothing at the time, and I should have, but it really helped me. And, and I want to pass that message along that even if there's people that's watching his videos and, and watching this nigga grind, because since I met him, he's been a fucking hustler every fucking day. This nigga wake up, same process every fucking day. That's why he's successful. And and so it it, it helped me. Because I said, this nigga could wake up every fucking day and say good morning to the world. 
and then I need to do the same. You know what I'm saying? And and like I said, it, it's very powerful that he don't say good morning, my Facebook friends. He said good morning, world. That shit is powerful. And 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 it kills me sometimes that only a certain amount of people say good morning back. And I'm one of them that don't say good morning back. But this nigga saying hi to the whole world. And so when he get on the video and he like, you know, I'm going through my Facebook friends list and I'm about to delete some bitches or whatever, or some niggas, because y'all ain't supporting. He got a valid point because this nigga's waking up every day saying good morning to the fucking world. And there's certain people that don't say good morning back. You know what I'm saying? So, like, at first, I'm like, but then I saw where he was coming from. And, and everything he speak, he takes the time out of his life and his hustle. Because, first of all, his hustle, whoever don't know, is the most hectic part of a fucking hustle when it comes to MB. Because that nigga don't stop. It's just hustling since I've known him. And he does it every day. That's why he is where he is now. And if you really his friend, like he be saying in them videos, show support. Buy a fucking t-shirt. Do something. Share it. Click like. You know what I'm saying? Because, and I'm one of them. I listen to his music secretly, but I'll never share it. You know what I'm saying? And so I got no problem saying that, but but because... I know now the influence that his music and his words and what he does on a daily basis influenced my life for me to be better. I want to share that with everybody because, hey, if a nigga wake up and say good morning, fucking say good morning back. Buy a fucking t-shirt because, listen, what's going on in society now, everybody's struggling. Buy a fucking t-shirt. I went to the closet to go change into the MB Drinks On Me t-shirt, but I already moved it to Tampa, but I took pictures with it. I had it on. I bought one, too. And I can, you know? and I can, I can co-sign that. Matter of fact, you had about three or four shirts. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and, like, if shit wasn't hard, I will buy each one of the fucking design, but it don't matter what, what you buy. Just buy, buy something or share something, like something. Do something. Because it made no sense for me to sit here and congratulate my nigga MB, but don't support him on the other side. You know what I'm saying? And, but everything MB does influence my life. And as of tomorrow, because of MB, since I known him and his hustle, I have bought a house that I could provide to my kids for. And they have something left when I'm dead and gone. And it's on, and the only reason I was able to do that is because I followed NB daily hustle. And I said to myself, the one simple thing I'll always go back to, this nigga wakes up every fucking day and say, good morning, world. And then goes to his, get on his grind and does his shit every day and still have time to come on video and talk to people. And answer questions and can shit I, like that. I, and share his can music. I, can I step in? I love what you're doing, but I just want to step in and say it's hard. It really, affects, yeah. it really affects my social life. And women trying to get to know me because they don't understand it. They don't understand the hard work that you got to put yeah. in. And then, yeah, I'm single and I want a companionship. But they don't mm -hmm. understand the grind that I got to do, and I'm doing that on my motherfucking step. Sixteen years in the game. Yeah. Yep. Why yeah. you ain't my kids? And you know, like why you ain't asking my phone at phone first? Alright, this ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work. Yeah, because I'm not stopping what yeah. I do. Yeah, because I know that I know for my I know for a fact, big dog. And Ali's older than me. That's why I called him a big homie. I know for a fact. That um this year he gonna be here before either you in my life or out my life. Oh yeah. Hey. 
you keep doing what you're doing, there, there'll be nothing but success. But yeah, that, like, like, let, let me finish this point though. Like I said, because of NB Hustle, I have progressed in life and learned how to deal with situations. And I'm able to provide more for my family and shit like that. On the other hand, NB is in a, how can I say it? What he does is very stressful. Like he said, it's hard. And so when this nigga sit here and say, not a lot of bitches could sit here and date a nigga like him. He ain't lying. He ain't lying. Because it takes somebody with a lot of balls to sit there and deal with that shit. And, and I know because I, I only know that because I see what he does. And it's going to take a strong woman, a real strong woman, to appreciate what he does and, and love what he does like I do. Everything this nigga does, I don't give a fuck what it is. I love this boy more for his music. He's, he's a character. And, and and he has a lot of characters in him. But his music is what I love him for. And the way he lives and hustle. And he always put himself first. And, and that's the message I want to get across. That he always, I think he always trying to put when he speaks on videos. He always trying to tell you, you are fucking important. Everyone is important. Put yourself first. And that's the message I got from all MB's videos and music and everything. Put yourself first because nobody else will. Am I right? Uh, um, yeah. Very, very correct. Um, one thing I've learned in this thing, in this business, Ali, and I appreciate everything you're saying thus far, is in this business, we as entrepreneurs, as I would say, quote unquote, bosses. We're 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 taught not to brag on our accomplishments. We're taught to, yeah. as brown and black people, we're taught to not talk about the things that we're blessed to do. And I bet it's different. You share it. You post to share it to the world, and because people, and that's what you always do. Look, you're gonna have people that don't believe in you, never believe in you or really insecure within themselves, they will feel some type of way before you even feel like all you're doing is sharing, you're sharing motivation. Mm -hmm. And if they feel it, if they are seeing that you, you, you quote unquote bragging, it that means this is not for you. This is for motivational purposes yeah. only. No, yeah. it's not bragging. I'm trying to uplift you. I'm giving you secrets to the things that I've really accomplished Pay for done. If you know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody, y'all can learn from my phone. That's it. And and that's what I'm saying is that when when you accomplish stuff, you sit there and you share it with the world. And and I'm letting you know, brother, man to man, that I got that message from you and I and I did it. I followed your idea and, and, and it helped me out in my life a real good and, and I hope that if there's anybody else out there who see you saying good morning world and they don't feel like they want to type back and say good morning to you too, if, if they did what I did, but secretly it's helping them, a nigga, it's a nigga that made you do that. Because if you, if you caused a change in my life, just like I called you and told you, man, a man, I said, hey, brother, just want to call you and let you know. And, you know, we don't, we don't hardly speak or anything, but, I called you and I said, eh, just, just call you let you know this, brother. I might not tell you all the time, but this is what you did for me, and I appreciate what you do because what you do affected me and it influenced me, and, and, and I have to call you to tell you I love you for that. And and, and you know, you know and, and, and people should always just say it well, like you always do. Well, I'm going to tell you something, Ali, again. This is why I'm going to commend you for this, because this is not just something that I'm based off of recognition. 
yes, the artist part of me, yeah. we need recognition. The actor part of me, we need recognition. But when I wake up in the morning, I recognize the people are who are going to make me. Yeah. Whether it be mm -hmm. man, woman, and child. Whether you black, white, gay, etc. These are your fan mm -hmm. base. You don't never know what they're going through in Sometimes Good Morning World, nobody probably tells they they might be in the same household and never tell somebody yeah. Good Morning. But mm -hmm. when they come in, it's people right now, loyal Good Morning people that I've been doing this for 15, 16 years. They be trying to wake up in the morning. They brains be fit in their brain, they pop brain yeah. to come on there and say Good Morning back to me. Because they know they don't get it. Yeah. They don't get it from their loved ones. And this is, that is free. To respond back to me, like you said, that's free. All you got to do is take time yeah. and say good morning back. And not only that, brother, when you say good morning, world, and somebody say good morning back to you, you always fucking respond back to them. I don't know how you do it or how the fuck you got time to do it. But as soon as you say good morning, world, and somebody Boom. say good morning, yeah, to you, I'm right you always respond. So you always respond phones, right back. I'm three like, or four computers. In my what fuck is it? Like he just got his. Does he got auto response? No, or I know. Like, I, was, I know it's you. I know. I know it's you though. It's I know it's really you, yeah. personally me but, giving him a heart. Yeah. Giving him a heart. Like, yeah. That's why I got your phone. Yeah. And 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 that's what I'm saying. I admire you because I know it's you. Keep but you, you like, have the time. You know, you time busy. As soon as somebody say good morning back, you're like, good morning to you. How you doing today? You always ask. And I read this shit for years, and I'm like, ain't that the point? We all friends on Facebook. Why are we not all doing that? But 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 the thing is, Why? everybody are lovers of themselves. They're lovers of themselves, yeah. and they get so caught up in themselves to the point that we don't see nobody else. They don't even they yeah. get to the point where they don't even see the fact that I'm taking out the time. And it's like you're my friends. Let's just for not, nothing. I guess everybody want to be lit. So, everybody want to be lit, but don't have trust me, brother. They, man, I, when you posted that you was going through your friends list and and if somebody ain't supporting you or nothing, it made me go through my friends list and think twice too, and I removed a whole bunch. I run a business, right? So I call my own yep. Facebook page an audit. And I'm going to run through that audit. And I'm going to see if motherfuckers ain't supported, they got to go. And get what? And I'm going to say this to y'all right yep. now. Every time I go to y'all birthday, because I got too many, I got too much shit to do. But when y'all birthday come up, mm -hmm. I go to each one of y'all motherfucking names. And I say, oh, she supported at the birthday. She supported, delete. I delete because yep. that's the only way I can find you. I delete your yeah. birthday. I'm just telling you straight up. Mm -hmm. Ain't no use to you yep. I'm going to yep. delete you on your birthday. Ain't no use to you being on my page if you don't support me. Yeah. I got so many friend requests. Exactly. Come. Why not? I want to build a community on my Facebook page of nothing but love and joy. Not self yeah. people. If you got some great shit going on, I'm going to share your shit. I'm going to share your yeah. shit. If I got some great things going on, share my shit. It don't cost shit to share. Yep. And that's going to be my next two tips. And it don't cost shit and to share. I'm going to start doing that, and I hope everybody get that same message. And I'm not doing it because you're asking. I should have been doing that because you 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 helped me in, in, in life just by what you do. And you shouldn't have to ask the fact that you have to get on there and tell people you have every right to go fucking remove them from Facebook. Because if you got to ask, then they don't need to be it there. It don't cost shit to share. Exactly. Yep. That's my That's motto. Right. Of, I'm going I'm to I'm get, I'm already working on the, uh, the distribution. Of the Just the button. Shit. Click the bitch. Click the button. Click the button. Boom. Done. It don't cost shit. Yeah. I ain't asking you to buy yep. no shirts no more. Only my fans gonna do all that. Or the people who love me the most. Yeah. Them already it's a I've learned that there's different type of supporters. The supporters that want to fuck mm -hmm. you. Cause I have those. Yeah. <laughs> and it's supporters that mm -hmm. really genuinely fuck with you. I have those. And it's people who say they want to support you and they never do. Cause they want you. Like I told you, <clears throat> there's a there's a little shorty that I know that you that I showed her your video, 
and influenced her life. And uh, 19 years old, and uh, she was kicked out from her home and sleeping in the streets because she told her parents that she liked girls. And so I didn't know what to do. She's, she's my daughter's friend. And I brought her over to the crib. And the only thing I could think of is to show her NB videos where he talked about life, relationship, and how to be successful, and, you know, stuff like that. And I showed her. And we spent the whole night watching it. And, and, and now the girl became superwoman because she listened to what MB says on all his videos about every topic. And, and she had all this side of her mind that she wanted to get out to the world. And, and she raps real well. Yeah, she's on um, the uh, NB videos influenced and changed her life because when, when she told her mom that she liked girls and they kicked her out, she was depressed and shit. But after watching NB video, like I said, she became super warm, bro. She's like, you know what? Yeah, he right. I don't give a fuck. Let them say what they want to yeah. say. I'm me and I'm going to stay who I am mm -hmm. and I don't give a fuck who like it or not. And, and bro, when I saw Shorty, bro, she was like, she stood up. And and she was so powerful. She like she's like flexing. She's like, yo, fuck beat. I don't even need a beat, nigga. And she started spitting on like, but she was spitting on that real shit that was in her mind that bothered yeah, her. Okay. And, and 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 I started crying. I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we're doing it. Okay, we're doing it. All right. Yeah. And but yeah, because because of your video, it 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 changed her from being depressed to being stronger. Yeah. And that is fucking powerful yeah. because a fucking video of a, of, of a nigga talking. Because yeah. when you speak of the videos, yeah, like she said, she told me this too. Like she said, yeah, I watched all his videos. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Every time I come on, he's like, yeah. And, and she was imitating you. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm, I'm going to try to do it. She's like, yeah. She boy MB waiting for some, waiting for some people to get up in here. So we could chop it up. <laughs> so, yeah, hey, she was sitting there. I'm like, hold on, let me record that though, so I can send it to MB. She's like, no, don't do that. He might get mad. I'm like, no, nah, he won't no, get mad. Get mad. Actually, That's actually you know, my whole slogan. So, hey, she she put the, she put the rap on her head too, and, and she's like, yo, she bought MB. Just waiting some people to get up in here so I can chop it up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all heard that. Y'all heard that. And I told her. If she was here right now, bro, she she imitates everything you do, and then she's like, "Oh, I like his flow. He's it's like it's just steady. It's, it's, it always keeps flowing." I'm like, "Yeah," and and so she she changed up how she was because she's a New Yorker, you know. They got that little slow flow, mm -hmm. so she blended in, and she's like, "Oh," uh, uh, and 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 then I'm like, "There you go, good." And I showed her your video, the one I like, and and then she's like, "Oh shit." It's like, yeah, because, you know, you, you have a style that don't fucking exist no more. Like, literally. All this shit on the radio, nonsense, garbage, bullshit. Because these niggas on the radio, they'll just say one word like 500 times, and it's a, it's a jam. Yeah. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Uh, 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 fucking stupid okay. shit. Um, I don't even play the radio no more. I just, yeah, I, um, I, I, again, I go. again, you know what? I've been doing this for so long. I was one of the original, the original guys that was rapping and singing at first, mm -hmm. and then the new kids took it to the all tune level, yeah. up level, like Super Saiyan level. But you still have to have a mm -hmm. catchy song. It ain't, ain't nothing wrong with having a catchy song, but change your words up in your hook, and don't just be saying one Man, thing. I, 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 I tell you, MB, when you when you write your shit, that shit, like when I don't know about other people, but when I when I listen to it and like my friends that I let listen to it, the the words you choose and and the beat and everything, when 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 I listen to it, it's like you get hyped. I get fucking hyped. I'm like, yeah, I'm on my grind. Seven days a week. Seven days a week.
it's your boy Ian Beam. I got a lot of people hating, wanna be me, but they can't be me. Can't even fit my shoes. Use a little push, sound like a snitch too. And I'm a pit bull, you look.